What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have yet another PSA returns video. Oh, so happy to be doing like just so many of these. It's just great to get all these cards back from PSA. These took, yeah, what is it? 18 months, just absurd amount of time to get them back. But these was basically uh, about the time when they ended that great $10 price point. So um, kind of makes sense. So these once again are patron returns. Um, I'm going to try to give shout out like all all the patrons already got notified of their cards and what they got there for grades by wanting to create a video uh so these are first batches for a pokemon lover um huge a huge friend of the channel from early, very beginning of the channel so uh congratulations on these grades we got a flareon ex from the radiant collection yeah this definitely um you know wasn't around when the set came out man i wish i bought a lot of these these sealed products or these in sealed products just go for a ton and i don't know this this must have been just a great set to collect um yeah probably if i was collecting this probably would have been up there with how i feel about hidden fates uh so we got another flareon ex this one of course with the featuring jolteon in vaporeon and then last one for pokemon lover we got a umbreon i believe i pulled this sent this to him and he subsequently sent this back to me to be graded. Uh, kind of disappointed we didn't get 10, but either way, huge congrats there. Just, and we can this pile. Our right, next, I think we got Ty with two ETB Champions Path Zards, one nine, but it's okay because we got the 10 right here. And um, actually, there was some, some question back and forth like, did I add these for Ty? I honestly can't remember, uh, but I know you're a huge fan of Snorlax, so uh, only the nine on the reverse, but for the regular, we got the 10, so very nice there. Um, you know, this these cards have not held up well, these Zacian and Zamazenta from the, unfortunately, two mint nines, but um, the Ultra Premium Collection, this was a box that, you know, uh, MSRP is pretty up there close to at least MSRP of like the ultra premium collection um, I mean this is technically a uh, UPC as well but this was the sword and shield and uh, featured these special promos but Zacian Zombies have just so many printings of them they just, I think they just overdid it uh, but don't worry we do got some nice cards we got a shiny Mewtwo for the PSA 10 great great card right there and uh, definitely for Ty, he needs to have the Rainbow Snorlax VMAX from Sword and Shield Base. And boom, the PSA 10. I know you're really excited to have this one in your collection. Um, this is a very, very nice card here. Pre-release Charizard from Team Up. And ah, just a midnight. I'm pretty sure. I bet if this was a 10, that'd be an expensive card. Oh, I guess there's another level above that to staff. Here is a promo from a product that uh, I think I had at least one, but um, I should have known to buy a bunch. It is the Charizard from the Fall Collection Box Chest. One of those things with like pencils and stuff, but it was one of the few that had promos and had a great Charizard and an Armored Mewtwo actually. Now, the question is, how is this a six? I feel like there's some, I'm not, oh, is that on the card? I, I feel like it looks, I guess it's the inside of the case, but it's like kind of like a smudge almost. Um, I didn't take too close of a look at why this, uh, maybe there's like a, yeah, I'm not sure. There's like some kind of imperfections on the card, but either way, very, I'll have to take a closer look at this. Uh, I feel like I see something, but yeah, very disappointing in the six. And all right, we're moving on to some different card Japanese. A Picasso's Touch. No idea what's going on in this card. <laughs> if, if you just showed me this art, I wouldn't even think it's a Pokemon card. But uh, Picasso Touch, um, PSA 8. Moving on to Evolution Charizard. Man, uh, my patrons, myself, we're sending so many of these Evolution Charizards. We cannot get a 10. But what else we got? We got some Champion's Path. And boom, we got the 10. Definitely, um, you know, Champion's Path. I feel like uh, don't, <laughs> I don't think you should buy any Zill product, but the Charizards have come down quite a bit. Uh, but when you don't have to worry about that, you just get the 10 from being graded. That is perfect. And the other Champion's Path Charizard, boom, another 10. So congrats there. And uh, actually, no, we're still on tie. This is the last tie. I have a spreadsheet to uh, the side that I'm looking at. And a Mew V for Ty's last card. 
All right, let's see. We're going to A-Rod next. A-Rod had a bunch of these Champions Path ETB Charizards. So 10, 10, 10, 10. What's that? Four tens? <laughs> this one, I'm not sure what happened. Let's just take a quick look. It's a very low grade. Um, it's a PSA 4. Like, this thing, there should be a... Oh, you know what? Okay, so this is actually a pretty cool card that... I mean, understandably, PSA is just like, no, this is a damage card. Uh, let me see if I can get it in the light. But yeah, all right, there we go. You can see the crimps. Um, so it's kind of hard to notice, but I think once you do, it's actually a pretty cool card. It makes sense that they can't give this, like, there's no, like, crimp qualifier because, I mean, technically, you could just do that to yourself. Uh, so it's kind of appropriate for it to be considered a damage card. But either way, it, I, I didn't realize that that's why it was a four. And I'll take that. That's That's cool. This one is an 8. Why did we get the 8? I don't want to spend too much time on just a, a Champion's Path Charizard. But then we got another 10 for you. Very solid grades right here. Gardevoir Rainbow PSA 10. Nice. Uh, as far as like cards worth grading, that's if it's not a Charizard, then <laughs> Gardevoir is the next as far as Champion's Path is concerned. Uh, Kabu PSA 10. And now we got some Hidden Fates. I'm pretty sure these were all pulled during our breaks so thanks for participating in the breaks A-Rod thanks for participating in the PSA submissions and uh, yeah congrats on the grades so you've got a Dreadnought Full Art 10 and then a Dreadnought 10 got all the turtles alright next we're moving to Richard Omega huge fan friend of the channel Charmeleon just a 9 a little disappointing but uh, we got some evolutions. Richard Omega is all about the evolutions. we got a 10 for the Sylveon this one's a little disappointing with the Umbreon. And I feel like from here, the center looks ah, You know what it is? This center is not perfect. Uh, top, I usually look at the top and bottom first. Um, that one looked good, but left sides were not perfect. Maybe that's what did it. But it's okay, because you got another one here, and it is the 10. Congratulations. I know you're really happy about that one. Evolutions and Mega Charizard. Just the Mint 9. But epic, epic card right there. We got a Evolutions Mew. It's a rock, but I feel like this is reminiscent of that lily pad Mew. Gem in 10, very nice. And okay, now we're moving on to Tim, I believe. I think he said he's a big fan of the Lunala. So from the Premium Collection Hidden Fates, we got the Lunala GX and the Sogaleo, both Gem in 10s. Congratulations. A Mega Blastoise. Only the nine, unfortunately. Your Evolutions Charizard. Uh, I can't remember if there's a story with this card. I think I, I want to say just uh, he had just like one pack or something. Pulled the Reverse Charizard. Was sto super stoked about it. Um, this one I do remember the story. So um, this is a Sword and Shield base card. Tim got a three pack, three card pack from like. Dollar, the dollar store, the dollar store pack basically, and pulled the gold Zacian that created a PSA 10. Huge congrats, that is amazing. Let me just scroll up. All right, the last few cards are for Patreon EMC. Hope you're doing well. And uh, you got the 10 on the Champions Pack Charizard. This one I know was like, you know, just a card that you kept all these years. Unfortunately, it's only the five, but we do see a very nice swirl on top. Um, so that's nice. Uh, I mean, yeah, the back is pretty worn. So um, either way, you got this slabbed up for 10 bucks. Very good deal right there. And you had a rainbow of uh, Shining Legends Mewtwo. Very nice card over there with the PSA 10. So congrats there. So um huge congratulations to the patrons for the submission uh just getting in close to the basically last minute for the that price that value price of ten dollars per card um pretty sure we're not going to see that ever again so congrats and uh yeah thanks for supporting the channel and for everyone watching the video thanks for watching i'm Wanna turtle i'll catch you all next time peace